Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In today's demo, we are going to see about deployment slots in Azure App Services. So in this demo, we are going to create a deployment slot and then we will deploy a web app from Visual Studio to this deployment slot and then we will swap to production slot and we will see how it works and how we can roll back also. So Azure App Service is a platform as a service offering by Microsoft Azure, which helps us to easily build, deploy and scale web app, mobile app backend and RESTful API. An app service slot is a feature of app service that allow us to deploy multiple versions of app to different slot. So huge case of app service slot is we can deploy multiple version of app to different slot and we can do testing in production by redirecting some of the user traffic to staging and then we can do testing. After testing, once we swap to production, if something goes down, like some feature is not working for some of the users, then we can roll back to previous version of app also. This is one of the major feature we use for app service for testing in production and rollback. So let's start the demo. For this demo on web app slotting, we are inside Azure portal and inside resource group called web app and config demo. We have done couple of demos using this resource group, how to use application configuration and how to use key vault inside web app. Now let's go ahead and quickly create one web app. And we have seen that one previously also in video, but so I will do the fast forward for that. I'm going to create, I'm going to put name as a software slot demo and I'm going to keep that .NET 6. So it is going to create a Windows plan for us with whatever default setting which we have, a standard S1. Let's go to deployment. Here we put generally that from how we are going to deploy and we can set up later also. So let's go to networking. Right now we are not doing in networking with private network injection and other things. So I'm going to keep that one inside monitoring. It is going to create a new application inside. That is fine. Tagging we are not doing right now. Review and click. So here if you see there is no option given for slotting. That is what I wanted to show you in this creation steps. So let's create. So now our resource has been created. Let's go to resource. When we go to resource, if we go inside deployment section, there are two things. One is deployment center where we generally have to see that from where it is being connected in with the CI, CD, right, that, um, all these details, code source and other details. In deployment slot, which we are going to see that what is the slot over there. So by default, it creates only one production slots. That is what we are going to see. So right now, if you see that we have only production slot and we can create slot and depending upon our plan, we can have multiple slots. So slotting per app, we can have 5, 20, 20, we can have depending upon what plan we have, the standard or premium isolated version of that one. So that is uh, more than enough for our purpose. As you talked about the purpose of slotting for doing some testing before running out into production uh, after deployment we can do one round of testing into development also we can have different resource group and different app services inside other resource group also like deb and test but inside production if we are deploying into production and we want to roll out a certain feature to a certain individual we can use this slotting feature or if we wanted to test anything before moving out to production without any downtime so first we will deploy into a staging and then we will move out to production that is what we generally do so when we will create the slot slot can be app content and configuration element can be swapped between two deployment slots including production slot and we can tag something don't swap this settings or that setting when we will see that option is also given so let's go ahead and create a slot so let's give a name A name will be appended in between so if we go ahead and right now our web app name is software slot demo now we can say that test slot so right now it will become the software slot demo test and then 
Azure website. And then we can say that whatever settings we want to clone from production. So right now we have not done any settings also. So both options should be good. Let's add that. So now successfully created the slot paste. Let's go ahead and if we try to go ahead and need, this is production one, right? We have selected the production one. Let's browse that website. And if you see browse that website, this is our slot demo.azurewebsite.net. Now, if we go inside the test slot, we can have this test slot. And now if you see this default domain got changed and this is test.azurewebsite.net. Now let's go ahead inside Visual Studio and see how we can deploy into test slot and how we can do swapping. And I'm going to select ASP.NET Core Web App. I'm going to put a name. And I'm going to use .NET 6.0 because we have web while creation. We have also selected that one. Authentication is done. So let's go ahead and create. Let's run this application to see in local that how it is working. So this is our first page where we can see this. Let's go and deploy this website. Let me publish this. target is Azure. We are going with Windows because we have created Windows plan. I'm going to select my subscription. We created this app plan, so I'm going to select that. And now depending upon where we want to deploy first. So I'm going to deploy first into test. And because in test, we will see how it looks like and then we will swap into production. That is the main thing we wanted to see. So let's go ahead and finish. Our publish configuration is ready. So let's click on publish. So once we update our configuration, we can see that our website is up and running. And this is, if we see, this is into test slot. Let's go to our main slot, right? I'm going to our main slot. Let's see what is there right now. So if we go to main slot, and if we browse, right now we see that old page. So two version is running there. Now let's go to deployment slot. Now let's go ahead and swap. We are going to swap from test slot to production slot. And uh, we can see that we have made some changes over there 32 bit worker process that is also coming. So let me go ahead and click swap. And when we will click the swap, the test configuration and test related code whatever we deployed that will go to production and production will be swapped back to test and that's why we can keep two version if we wanted uh, to roll back once again to old version also that also we can do let's see once this swap is done how it looks like for both of that slot so now if we see successfully completed swap between slot test and slot production let's close this now let's go ahead and see that how it looks like for both of now this is our production slot right i'm going to refresh this now we can see that our page came whatever we deployed into slot and now let's refresh the slot page now whatever was there inside production it rolled back here so that if we found after deployment some issue we can go ahead and swap one more time to make that okay i'm rolling back to whatever content or whatever code was there previous version right that's what we can do if now let's go ahead and change something inside our code and index.cstml and then see how it looks like right 
भी वन लेट मी रिमूव दिस निकाल रहा था उठ के निकाल रहा था उसको कब से पैसा लेट्स रन लोकली सी लोकली दिस लेबल चेंज लेट्स डिप्लॉय दिस वन so publish succeeded now we can see that this new functionality inside plotting of test is coming if we go inside main slot this was our main slot if we refresh that still there is old version of code is there so now what is what we are going to do that when we are going to test into test slot we will release this new version to some certain user to validate that whatever changes we have done with the business and other things all good or not once we are done with that validation we can go again in deployment slot and we can do the swapping let's swap this now we can see that successfully completed for swap let's close let's go to our main slot which is production one and let's refresh you can see that new functionalities came to production now and if we go into test slot where our code was there so old version is code came here and for testing purpose if you wanted to roll out some new function and if you wanted to test that one here into slot you can define that hey how much traffic i wanted to redirect to this new slot for new functionality based on if you do not want to roll out by directly providing url that way also you can do and after that if you figure out hey something went wrong and if you want to swap once again back one we have old code into test slot we can swap back right we can swap back to production one more time and hence if we see that old code is going to back again into main slot and whatever new code was there uh, which is going to come back to test slot so if we after rolling out some function we figure out some user is complaining about something and then sometime it happens that we roll back our code using this feature also so using this feature roll back deployment we can do test in production lot of different things we can do this is a great feature we have inside app services so right now we can see that successfully done so let's close this one and if we say this was our new functionality in main slot if we refresh back we can see the old code came here and in the test one our new code game so that's how we can support the rollback also if something goes down but then also we can interlock we can go and see that how much time this swapping has it happened so that also we can see so this is what i wanted to cover in this video that how useful this feature of slotting is there thank you mm -hmm.